Hi friends, happy Friday the 13th. <laughs> How are my lovey subbies doing on this fabulous yet creepy weekend? <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well, feeling fine, feeling great, feeling a little bit creepy on this Friday the 13th. Now, when I think of Friday the 13th, I don't believe in good luck, I don't believe in bad luck, but if that's your thing, hey! But for me, I always think of it as Jason Voorhees Day, as in, you know, Friday the 13th, the killer slasher Jason Voorhees. That's what I think about when I think of Friday the 13th. Um, ever since I was little, I used to sneak and watch, like, Friday the 13th movies. Um, or, you know, sometimes when you have older cousins, they let you watch stuff that you shouldn't. <laughs> so that was me, and I've always been a huge fan of that. So for Friday's show, I thought, what a better thing to have on the show than Jason Voorhees. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> then the fabulous Shirajuku girl, Yoko. I think Yoko absolutely fits for this Friday the 13th because she is a girl who likes a little bit of the spooky side of things and I could totally see her being a Jason Voorhees fan, loving Friday the 13th and loving all the gore about it. So here is Yoko in her fabulous box looking super super cute there is the back of her box and it shows you the other girls you could get in this collection um they are available um these three girls are available at walmart i got her for 17.88 which is a super super good buy on these girls because uh who wants to pay 29.99 or $24.99. No, thank you. I'll take $17.88. <laughs> so it says on the back of the box that Yoko stands out from the crowd, and that's the way she likes it. Her totally unique sense of style is a reflection of her unique personality. She loves to wear black and can often be found playing her guitar or reading a spooky novel. And something tells me a Yoko likes spooky movies. So what I'm going to do right now is, you guys know the drill, I'm going to take Yoko out of her packaging and I will be right back to show you the spooky gal up close. Okay, guys, I am back with my spooky gal, Yoko, and she is so totally cute. Look at those beautiful, beautiful big eyes. I love her striped outfit. I love that she loves skulls. The skull is really cute on her dress, and it has a little glittery barrette right there on the skull, and I love her beanie. Super, super cute. Yoko also has gray and black striped hair, which is really, really adorable. It makes me think of Lily Munster from the Munsters. You guys know who Lily is, right? Super, super beautiful. And she is gorgeous. I love her little socks. I love that they have silver bats on them. Super, super cute. And I also love her barrettes. There she has a pink skull with a bow on it. Down here, she has a little cute bat, a smiley bat. Over here, she has, like, the moon with some uh, bats flying around on it. And up there, she has a kicking guitar. Super, super cute. Of course, like all Shiba Juku girls, you know that she can sit down. She's posable at the knee, which is really, really great. She's posable at the shoulder at the wrist and the elbow, which is amazing. I love the posability of these girls. And her skirt, her overall skirt, and her shirt underneath are separate, so you can take them off. You could put her in some pants if you want to, or maybe fit her in some Barbie clothes. I've never tried to do that to my Shiba Juku girls because I love the clothes that they come in, so I've never tried to dress them in anything else. But it is a possibility, and I just really, really love Yoko's whole entire getup. I'm glad to finally add her to my collection and she's super super sweet and I think she's just absolutely adorable and so so perfect for this Friday the 13th. I love her light makeup on her face. It makes her look really fresh and um you know I it's just really really cute. I love the silver glitter eyeshadow that she has on. She has really soft pink lips and soft pink on the cheek 
And I love her eyebrows. She's just really, really pretty. And if you want to, I'm going to put Yoko's hair in ponytails because I love that on her and I think the look will be cute. Um, but you can also put her hair in a giant ponytail in the back and put her hat back on because she has a hole back there to put her hair through, which is another thing I love about these girls is... I love that you could put their ponytails through their hats, so you don't have to, if you change their hairstyle, you could definitely still use Yoko's beanie. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today's show on this creepy Friday the 13th. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful beginning to your weekend, and thank you for tuning into the show, for watching my review of Yoko from the Shiba Juku Girls. I got her at Walmart for $17.88. Definitely check Walmart out for your Shiba Juku girl hookup. <laughs> now, guys, remember to have a good evening no matter what you're going to do. If you're going to go out and have some fun, remember to be kind and respect everybody. And if you're going to stay in and have a Jason Voice Friday the 13th Marathon, have fun and eat a lot of popcorn. <laughs> remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulously fun Yoko Shiba Juku girl, creepy spooky girl world. <laughs> you guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow for Saturday Shoutout Show. Bye-bye, guys! <laughs>